This week's artist spotlight is Barbara Kruger. Barbara Kruger is a conceptual artist and collagist who does a lot of work with text. Sometimes it is text all on its own, uh, but oftentimes it is accompanied with a black and white photograph. She works with the same font almost all of the time and works very selectively with a specific color scheme, black, red, and white. Occasionally, occasionally you will see other colors, but it's mostly those three. She has been doing this work for a couple of decades at this point, um, but before she got real successful as a fine artist, she was doing magazine layout work for a variety of publications. Um, these two examples here are actually from later on in her career when she was a more established artist. I could not find any work from when she was doing this earlier on. Um, but yeah, she worked for a variety of magazines. You can see a connection to her style as a fine artist as well. This is one of her earliest well-known works, Your Body is a Battleground. It was originally used as a flyer for the Women's March on Washington in 1989 and is now a common symbol for her fighting for women's rights. But she's been doing this kind of work for a long time. This is a collage from 1984. She would often find these images in magazines at the library and just make a black and white copy. Part of her reason for working in black and white and red is she didn't have a lot of money to print in color. This work, I Shop Before I Am, is also a well-known work that I'm going to reference a little bit later. She continued doing these uh, word image combinations for a long time. There's an, a quick example of one she did use another color, obviously referencing, referencing the American flag. Um, but yeah, then she eventually started working into these large scale just word installations. Uh, this one was at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles. It was actually reprised again in 2018, I believe, uh, right around the midterm elections. This seems to be where she's mostly working in more recent times. This one's 2012 in Washington, D.C. at the Hirshhorn. I actually saw this one in person. Uh, it is really cool to see her work in person, just kind of be surrounded by those words. I highly recommend it if you can make it happen. Skate Park in New York, Gallery in Berlin, so you can see a little bit of her international success as well. Um, and here's my kind of quick take on her as an artist. Um, I do really love how she's established this kind of iconic look for her work. You know, with just three colors and a font, she's created a body of work that's immediately recognizable. Um, and I do like the way she challenges viewers with very specific confrontational questions. All right. I sometimes have mixed feelings about the commercialization of her work. Uh, for example, the piece, um, I shop there for I am. I think I don't know, maybe it's put on things in an ironic way, but I think the message is often lost on people. Um, it's cool that her message is getting out there more, but just, yeah, again, mixed feelings, not exactly sure how I feel about it. And yeah, definitely what I wish I knew is what she was up to next. She seems like she keeps going bigger and bigger, and I don't know how much bigger she can go. And that is Barbara Kruger.